Hey guys, it's Zova. Welcome back to another video. I want to apologize for the lack of uploading lately, but I promise I'll continue uploading plugins again. So today we're going to be talking about a cool plugin. It's a real good plugin called Multiverse Core. You can make multiple worlds with it. For example, if you want to have many game modes and stuff like that, this is just the perfect plugin you need. And it also works well with another plugins like Multiverse Inventories. And the next video we'll be talking about that. So okay, so you first open the website. I'll leave the link down below in the description. And once you're here, you just want to download it. I already have it downloaded, so no point for me downloading it again. So you'll probably find it in your download file. You can copy it and paste it into your server, but I already have it in here. Just go to the plugins and paste it inside and run your server. Okay, now once you're inside, the commands are really easy and the plugin is simple as well as the configuration, it shouldn't be that hard. So first command I have, I'll put them all on the screen. Uh, when you have, like, if you want to know the player in a specific code, you just, all what you have to type in is mvhu. So this shows you all of the players in this specific word and the normal word that you usually spawn in is called word, the, no the normal one. Okay, so the next command is when you create, if you want to create a new word, or what you have to type is just mv create. It will show you the list that you need to, that you need to see. And this is all the types of words you can have, lava land and it's in nether maybe a flat room this is made for creative especially if you want to have a creative plugin maybe for players to play creative so i'll just go for the flat room you can type in mv create and the world name i'll just name it dover maybe and normal because it's normal and then negative flat it's going to create create it and once it's, it has been created, you have another cool command, it's really good. It's called slash mv, mv clone. But, but I'll just wait until it makes my world. But when you have, when you use, a, oh it's done already. When you use slash mv clone, you can basically create a clone of this of a specific world if you want to back it up maybe. So let's just say the server got traded maybe who knows and you just need a backup just in case anything goes wrong you have a backup for the world and you can update it daily maybe so now once i have my new world i can just type in slash mbtp and type in the world name so you can tp so i'll just mbtp over and once i'm there there's a legal there's a really good command you can use to set a spawn for a specific chord so let's just say i go here then i need this to be my spawn for when i whenever i come to this world I'll, I'll get spawned here mv set spawn and yeah that's it really simple and if you want to tp someone to this to this spawn just type mv slash mv spawn and type his name really easy so i'm just typing dover and it teleports me really simple now once you've done all of that let's just say you want to modify stuff as you can see a lot of animals and stuff like that just type in slash mv modify it's kind of self-explanatory because it's modify like you modify the word so let's just mv modify set and you see this question mark it kind of helps you like let's just say our type set tells you what you can write so let's just make animals make them false and once i type it all of the animals are gone but let's say i want to return it i just have to type in true and they should spawn back really soon now let's just say you see the amount of slimes it's kind of really annoying so if you want to remove them same thing so I can, instead of animals just open monsters and let me make this false. Yep, really easy. And the animals are back already. So this is why I really love this this plugin. And there's more stuff you can do. As you can see, it really says whatever what you can do with it in here. 
This is what makes it really special. Now the next command is called slash mv purge. I'll just say you want to kill the stuff around you. Uh, mv purge. Oh, you need the uh, humans. Oh, I'm lagging. <laughs> mv purge all. As you can see, it removes everything. When you type all, maybe you can use all animals to remove animals and monsters to remove monsters. Or just all, remove everything. Okay. So now, as you can see, they'll spawn again. But if you want more stuff to modify, this command is really helpful. You just have to type in slash mv game rule. This tells you how to use the command itself. But if you want to see the game rule, you just type in slash mv game rules. The nest. So it tells you all of the stuff here, like all kind of stuff. So let's just say do mob looting and do mob loot. I mean, it's set to true. So what you have to do is mv. Uh, one second, mv game rule. Do mob loot false. Okay, now let's say I want to set it back to true and take care of the, the capital letter is really important. Look, like I'll just show you an example. If I want to set it to true and instead of making this a capital M, I'll just make it a small M. See, it's a failure. Game rule do not uh, do mob spawning cannot be set to true. Why? Because I made the M a small M instead of a capital one. So I'll just make it a capital one. And make it true, and yeah, set to true. It's really simple. Now I'll go to the uh, config, so I'll show you guys more songs there. Okay, guys, now once you're in your server, the first thing you should do, you first, I mean, the first thing you should see is this world you've created, and the rest of them is like the normal world, the nether one, the end one. And this is on, and in this one you can see the data, the player data, and just information about the player. I don't think it's really that important, but it depends on you after all. Now the real configuration is inside here. So you open your plugins, go to multiverse core, and as you can see, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, so this is the config. It's really simple, like nothing doesn't look that complicated auto purge it kills the uh, zombies automatically and this is the world that the player first spawns in if you want to change it feel free and this let's just say when you install the plugin it displays the world he's in next to his name it may be annoying for some of you guys if you want to turn it off just instead of this being true just make it false really easy now save it and restart your server maybe and this is the second file it's called world and this contains every single one we've created the world the end the nether and Dova, the one that we just made so maybe it want to make it a pvp world who knows maybe you need a kit pvp server and everything in here is like really easy to understand the difficulty or to weather if you want the weather to change yes or no the hunger maybe you want the hunger off if it's actually a pvp server you need it off and do to heal true if he if you want him to heal and game mode survival maybe you need it creative who knows what kind of world you're creating and yeah and it's really simple and really helpful plugin to use for your server and it's like a core plugin so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next video bye